President Tinubu's ministerial list has allegedly been submitted to the Nigerian Senate. The development is coming on the 54th day of President Tinubu's tenure in office. The new law compels the president to forward the names of his ministers to the National Assembly within 60 days in office. President Tinubu has appointed some special advisers in his nearly two months in office. This list was earlier reported to have been subjected to the scrutiny of the Department of State Service and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Uh, join us live uh, for this discussion as a public affairs analyst, Wale Ogwade, joins us to discuss this and more. Uh, one welcome to you, Wale, and thanks for joining us on NC Continental Prime. Thank you for having me. Now, Wale, we heard the ministerial list by President Tinubu is already before the National Assembly. Is there a nexus between the alleged intrigues uh, with the APC hierarchy and the process and the delayed process? Uh, obviously, uh, what, are, what is happening is akin to either a, a warrior or a group of warriors who went to the war uh, to fight. And of course, there is always the spoils of war. The party APC has gone to war, aka an election, and they have won an election. And of course, the whole essence of an election anyway, and for a politician, is to capture power, as they normally say. And they have captured that power. Having captured the power now, it is for them now to now take the spoils of office. Taking the spoils of office now is to share the uh, the, 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 the outcome of the election in terms of offices and so on. So there will be intrigues. Everyone wants to have a share, have a duty, a juicy appointment, as it were. So to all intents and purposes, the, the reason why you see all these moves, all this uh, bargaining, all this backslap and, and backstab on each other, particularly within the party. And of course, uh, those who are outside the party too, they are making all the noise they can make so as to attract the attention of the power that be, so as to give them one appointment or the other. It's all about appointment. It's all about just being accommodated. It's just about having a, a, a bite at the, at the pie. That's just the whole essence. So in, cost, in making that happen, definitely some situation will arise that uh, people will want to rumble, shake tables and so on, so as to be noticed. And in the process of being noticed, then obviously they will be appointed or they will be recommended recommended for one office or the other. So that is how everything goes. Now, while millions of Nigerians following the inauguration of President Bola Ahmed uh, Tinubu expected him to hit the ground running, as promised, but he's been working with just a few advisors who seem to be his kitchen cabinet members. What are your thoughts on this? And uh, with the onboarding of ministers, how much of a difference uh, would it make to governance in Nigeria? Uh, uh, fearless as far as I'm concerned, Tinubu has started running his rolling government and, of course, taking one or two steps, sometimes steps that are painful, like this fuel issue, sometimes uh, taking steps that are very, very encouraging, like the margin of the parallel market of the foreign exchange, and some other economic policies that have been taken, the tax regime and so on. To me, he's doing one or two things. And, of course, he has appointed a special assistant who are helping him in carrying out these functions. Yes, he has done that and it's okay. The next thing actually is to form a, 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 cap, a government as it were, with a full-fledged government that will have a cabinet, uh, that's cabinet ministers and all those other paraphernalia of, of, uh, of government, which are still, he's still working on. And without holding brief for him, all I know is that it's not easy forming a government. For information, I'm the head of a small unit of group of people and uh, we've been working around how to set up people that are trustworthy, mm -hmm. people that are loyal, and people that can work and deliver. Deliver Delivery is the issue. Not to just put on mediocres in office, and they will go to office and be drinking tea, will be distracted with their congratulatory messages, 
will be busy themselves in going round and round, saying that they are traumatizing and they are they are here on first uh, first uh, they want to know what is happening and so on and so forth, wasting people's time. Whereas they are technocrats and they are really tested hands. And I want to believe that's what Tinubu is doing, looking for the hands that will really work and that will deliver, not those who, who occupy office, occupy space and have nothing to offer. And to me, it's still okay. Fairness, even if you, are, if you, if you overshoot the 60 days as uh, per provision, to me, it's still okay. If the whole essence is that he wants to make the right choices for the betterment of okay. this country. Thank you very okay, much, uh, Wale Ogwade, for your time and your insights. Thanks for speaking with us on NC Continental Prime.